What do you think's more impressive? The glass balcony, the private staircase, or the uh, private garage? But that's the grand prize right up here. to the lower part of the Upper East Side. The building is right there on the corner and boom, the 72nd Street subway. Today's place is nice, but if you wanna save money after you buy it, you might find yourself using this. So, I would describe this neighborhood as being quiet and convenient, even though that's Second Avenue. Because once you get off this, which will get you anywhere, look at these side streets. You got trees, you got flowers. It's actually really peaceful. And it has a real neighborhood feel to it. St. Catherine's Park, basketball courts, swing sets, one block away. Now you will see some businesses on these side streets. We got an e-bike repair, pumpkin latte, crazy statue. This looks like a great place for coffee. Lots of restaurants. Is Taco Bell a restaurant? If you're not sure, go to this French bakery. Le Gourmet. Apple cinnamon oatmeal. And check out the cakes. Then you can get a Len Witch, a Soul Witch, or you can play it safe with a wrap. I would recommend the Soul Witch. Coffee, a bowl place. Oh man, and there's even Panda Express. The Beijing beef is the best. Patsy's Pizza. There's a couple of these in the city. They've been around for a minute. And their outdoor dining is almost as good as their pizza. That white tablecloth, it looks intimidatingly fancy. This place sells fake Mexican food. They hold the Guinness World Record for the world's soggiest burrito. The Little Beat looks healthy. Cute logo. Then we got a little smoothie shop. Quick Stop. Looks like they sell junk food. This here be your little local barber shop. And if you don't like what you see in this video, you can get your eyes checked. See, Mondays and Thursdays, free eye exam. Oh, and there's a Starbucks. Between Chipotle, McDonald's, and Starbucks, you won't be able to think your own thoughts after you eat it all three. You'll just want another Egg McMuffin. Now, luckily, right outside Taco Bell, look at that, you can get yourself some fresh blueberries, some asparagus, some orange tomatoes. They might be mutants, maybe get the red ones. It's America, man, they could be alive for all you know. Great price on the bananas as well. I just feel like the customer for this place is not interested in that place. Now, if you don't want to take the train, you can get yourself one of these city bikes. And look, they're pretty much all the electric ones, but the gray ones are the best. I wish they were all that model. Oh, look at this. This must be where they store the ones that nobody uses anymore. These aren't active. You can't get one of these. They're all chained up. Got a corner cafe, Lebanese food, hummus, more pizza. But this bagel place looks pretty popular. Is your bagel zagging? Rated. Long line too. Oh, you on TikTok or you on YouTube? And he recognized my charming voice. I did, yes. He I didn't did. say charming, he said something else, but I'll oh. let it go. <laughs> okay Appreciate that. you watching, man. Help me get my apartment right I did? You're welcome. All right, this is the place. It's a townhouse. Speak to the team if you got any questions. And best of all, we get from the garage all the way up. Let's go check it out. Uh, George, what are we looking at today? We're looking at an Upper East Townhouse on 69th Street. Six beds, four and a half bathroom, 6.925. How many cars can fit in the garage? Two SUVs. Is this your whip? It's my new one. Hey, he's stealing my bike, he's stealing my bike. This is the man cave. This is your studio. You can do whatever you want in here. You have a bathroom outside. It's temperature controlled. It's over 20 feet long. I would make this little room here like some sort of office or something. I think that would be dope. The little half bath here I think is really interesting. That's what's gonna allow you to do stuff down here. We got this uh, interesting little sink. There's even a shower. Boy, are you showering in your garage? Or if you leave your garage open, will you find someone else showering in here? Ooh, a medicine cabinet. Sure.
Joel, you did all the art that we see here, all these beautiful Every paintings. Piece. How much would something like this sell for right here? Look, I've even crossed it to make it easy, 9,500. Now, Joel, listen, I'm the kind of person that when I think of art, the more it confuses me, the more I think it's worth. Is yeah. that how art works? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly Got how it, it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's probably good I couldn't turn this on because I think this is an actual gas fireplace. But this one right here still has the hatch in it. I think it's called a flu. So that one might've been real at one point, but this really is a mind blowing common space. Look at how that staircase just kind of leads up off to the side. We got these little windows overlooking our porch. And this is like a really nice divider between where you might have like a sitting area and then a second sitting area right over here. And since each section has its own little fireplace, you could build around that. And there's this super creepy painting in there. Why didn't that one make it out here? The interesting thing about this side is that it's got a door and a window that lead to the kitchen. And that probably means there will be eating going on in here in some capacity. This kitchen's insane. The fridge is a Thermador professional. It sounds like it gets really cold. And the oven is red, so you know it gets really hot. Dishwasher, microwave, beverage fridge. The sink looks incredible. We got ourselves a sprayer. I just think you're gonna need some sort of ladder to get yourself up there to those cabinets. And you know what? That's probably what this ladder is for right here. The lighting in here is awesome. The kitchen itself has plenty of counter space. We've also got three windows letting in tons of light, and this is totally an eat-in kitchen massive table under this light and we got a legit breakfast bar look at that four stools minimum and if you think you're important which you might be if you bought this place you can close those doors and keep things in here did this used to be outside the building what is this yeah this is original detailing from the original structure wow cool it would be a sin to remove it This is our first roof deck. And right now we're on the building's second floor, but whoa, whatever's up there, I can't wait to see. To get out here, you come up those little steps, you have like a little drain, and the rest of this is really neat. You could totally do something secluded back here, maybe some tables, some umbrellas. I'm sure anyone could do a better job on the gardening. These plants aren't, I just don't think they're loved. That's what I was looking for. But over there, you can see the street. This would be awesome for like a hammock, and maybe you could even get a grill up here. Back inside, we have what's probably gonna be used as a bedroom. You've got a sweet light. This will fit three king beds. There's another futuristic fireplace. Ah. Oh, I just pinched my thumb. That's why people remove these because it's a painful way to live. Still think it's worth it though. Okay, um, I probably shouldn't do that. Here we go. Okay, so it's like we have this little partial ledge here with glass, that's our patio. We're looking out over the street, very quiet. Get some white curtains, open these up, have a nice breeze going through here. That'll give it some soul. Okay, I wanted to get those on, but look, we've got these other two lights here. And I think that makes this one of the nicest bedrooms you could ask for. There's also closets in each corner. Ooh, look at that. This is where the safe is. Oh, this is a deep tub. And look at the fancy sprayer. I've never seen this before. This one looks very similar. There's actually a pane of glass here separating the shower and the tub from the rest of what I can only describe as being an oversized bathroom. But I think things are about to get crazier. There we go. Look at that, we got some little windows. And up here we've got like this little terrarium looking thing. I think it's called a solarium. But you could get some little chairs, make this an awesome hangout spot, some lights. And even though that's Second Avenue, I would say the noise levels in here are surprisingly low. This bedroom is almost a mirror image of the one downstairs. Are these closets or a bathroom? Okay, closets. Okay, we've got ourselves a full-size bath in the hallway. This is the third bedroom. Here's the bath. Super nice, definitely the right move. 
but it looks like this bathroom is on a bedroom. This room overlooks the roof deck. You can see that it's got like tons of storage. Oh, look at this, so useful. Okay, I thought so much. Look, these windows are tinted and that must be for privacy reasons because you got all these eyes that could be watching it. So tint, great move. But the window that's not tinted, this guy over here, look at the size of this roof deck that we got. This is awesome. This is a really sweet deck and it's not visible from the street. We've got the privacy barrier and the street's actually like over there. You'll have fantastic cell phone service. And now that I see that grill in the corner, this looks like the entertainment space. If you've got any money left over after furnishing the rest of this place, up here you're gonna want tables and stuff to go with that. And this inside room is just an absolute work of art. Love the snake lamp. We got a second fireplace. This one definitely is real. It's gonna be fun to carry the wood all the way up the stairs. Oh look, there's one, two, three skylights. This is one of the most unique rooms I've ever seen. Thanks for coming. Thank so, you. does it matter if they talk to George or Sean? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Guys, thank you so much. This was awesome. Subscribe if you had fun. Pick another video. I'll see you soon.